So I'm now going to demonstrate how to examine the lymphatic lymphoreticular system of a child. One of the things that I think people commonly forget is the tonsils are part of that system. Now classically, um, when you find that somebody's got an enlarged gland, the correct thing to do is to find out if any of the rest of the glandular system is enlarged, and that should include the spleen. I wouldn't generally include the liver. When I was being uh, taught about this, then in boys, it was taught that you were supposed to examine the testes, but I don't see that as having any value, with the exception of whether you suspect somebody's got leukemia. However, this well child that I'm now going to do this for, who's one of my patients, but she's a very well girl, um, um, I will just go through things um, as per what I've just described. Right, so I'm just going to wash my hands. Uh, could, could you tell me your name? Lila. Yeah, right. Well, thank you for coming to help us today to do this little video. And I just want to find out if you've got any swollen glands anywhere. And because I don't think it's totally necessary to undress you, I'm not, but we will ask you to just lift up your tummy because I want to feel something in your tummy. Okay. So, first of all, let me move that beautiful hair out of the way. Because sometimes people have um, swollen glands in their neck. And I'm just going to come around here because... I just want to feel to see if you've got any strange lumps or bumps in the neck like that. Move your hair out of the way. So I'm going to feel for the anterior triangle of the neck, submandibular, and the carotid area, posterior triangle of the neck, pre and post auricular, and occipital. Thank you for that. All right. Can you lie up on the bed for me? And there are a few other places that we have to remember are potentially um, sources of a glandular enlargement. So can you open your mouth like a lawyer and stick your tongue out for me? Ah, dear, right. Okay, so you haven't got an enlargement of your tonsils. You can shut your mouth now. And then each axilla to find out. And sometimes people are a little bit ticklish there, so I'm going to try and avoid any tickly, funny stuff there. Um, one at a time. That's it. Fantastic. Yeah, I think that's what I'm comfortable. Mm. Was I being uncomfortable? <laughs> so bad. And then the other thing is the top of the groin, which is a slightly funny place to feel, to find out that you've got some inguinal glands. And then just pull that up for me a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to ask you to let your tummy go nice and soft. And what I want you to do is do some nice breaths in and out for me like this. I'll show you. Each time I put this on your tummy, I want you to just do those nice breaths. Off you go. And classically, because splints can be very large in some cases, you feel from over on this side, which is what I'm doing. You're doing that fantastically well. Very impressed. Thank you. And if you have suspicion that splenic enlargement will be subtle, can you just roll towards your side, towards me a little bit? Just roll onto your side a little bit. And bring your whole body over there. There's a good girl. And just do that special breathing again. And nice breathing. Fantastic. And you haven't got any enlargement of that. Pull that down. Right. Thank you.